everybody, it's me, Lala. Thanks for stopping by to watch another video. Welcome to our new subscribers and welcome back to our subscribers who have been with us for a while. I appreciate your support of me and of our channel. And I hope you enjoy this video. I do. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy this video especially. It is Monday still. It is still January. January. It is not January. It is not. It is July the 17th. It is the seventh month. It is the 17th day. And it is the 17th, 2017. So it's 7, 17, 17. Play those numbers tonight for the lottery. So anyway, um, I just thought I would come back with you all and start sharing some of this, some of these goodies that I have here piled up on the butler's counter. Um, we went and got Louise's glasses, as you can see, and she looks super, super cute, and everything went smooth as butter, as it usually does. We, we are very, very, very pleased with the uh, service, the quality of service, and the customer service that we get um, at the Walmart Vision Center. So if you all have never been to the Walmart Vision Center before, I would encourage you and invite you to try them out. They are very, very well-priced. They are very thorough in their eye exams, and they have a great, great selection of frames, and they offer state-of-the-art lens lenses and lens treatments that you can get on the lenses. So um, as you can see, she got her new glasses, and she is super, super happy with them, and I think she looks super, super cute. So our sweet Louise is happy. She was happy before, but now she's especially happy. So anyway, so we got her glasses. Chewy came home early. Everything is good with the um, thermostat now. And actually, our thermostat was under warranty. We had a five-year warranty on the thermostat. So what Chewy decided to do was just have them go ahead and replace the thermostat for free, and all it did was cost us labor to have them, um, you know, switch out the thermostat. So that was good, and the air conditioning is working fine. It wasn't the unit that was the problem. It was the... Um, thermostat itself and when he opened up the thermostat and shined the flashlight down in there he said that the motherboard of the thermostat had had a short in it he could tell because there was like black specks in it or something so everything is worked out blah 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 blah, blah. so I don't want to I don't want to uh chat on too much because I do have things here to share with you and I don't want to run out of any time. So I'm going to do Walmart from today and prior and then I'm going to do Dollar Tree from the weekend. So um, as you all know, I told you that we went shopping on Friday and then I went shopping by myself. I did on Saturday while Chewy and Louise were down at the amusement park Kennywood in Pittsburgh. So let's go for Walmart today. So Chewy was with us since he had come home early and um, we went ahead and picked him up another pair of running shorts and these are by Roussel. Some people say Russell, I say Roussel because you know Target, Target, Tomato, Tomato. But anyway, so we got him another pair of running shorts and these are just the gray and they're like a very micro mesh with the black up here, and they do have um, um, some reflective uh, accents on them. But what is really nice is they have, or I thought they had, yes, they do. They have the fluorescent compression shorts underneath. So these will show just a little bit as he's running for visibility purposes and you all know how much that is how important that is to me when Chewy's running or if you know we're out walking or you know if you're walking your animal your dog or if you're just out taking a leisurely walk please 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 make sure that whenever you are a pedestrian that you can be seen by motorists 
that are, you know, on the road. It is very, very important. So we went ahead and got these, and these are the nine inch two in one shorts. Now these do come in different lengths, and um, Chewy prefers the nine inch, seven inch or nine inch when he's running. So we went ahead and got these. They're absolutely fabulous. Um, he has quite a few pairs of those, you know. I do, I do like the um, Roussel brand at the Walmart. And then I picked Louise up this um, nightgown before. This is a pad. This is a recent Walmart purchase, but not tonight. And you all know how much we love the Hello Kitty here at Lily Bug Lane. We do, we do. And um, so I went ahead and picked her up this nightgown, and it's Hello Kitty, and it says, "Is it Friday yet?" And it's just like a little dorm sh dorm length nightgown, short sleeves. But what I really liked about it is the the main color is pink, but then you can see it's got like these little flecks and they're nubby of color. And to me it kind of looked like confetti or it kind of looked like sprinkles. So I thought that was super cute. And this is a small this is a small medium, which runs from size 6 to 10, and it was $9.97 in the uh, intimate department at Walmart, where they sell the pajamas and things like that. So I thought that was really, really cute. And um, we've had to get rid of quite a bit of her Hello Kitty apparel now that she's getting older. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to replace some of the things that we had to get rid of because she's grown out of them so now we're getting her new things so we went ahead and picked this up and I thought it was super cute I can't pass up a good Hello Kitty piece I really really can't so <clears throat> this is another purchase and um, I had been looking for something like this similar to this. I had a vision in my mind, but you all know how it goes with the visions in my mind. They never work out. I can never find anything that is exactly what I'm thinking of. And, and I don't think of very difficult things. But anyway, you all remember recently that I got a wonderful, wonderful package, patriotic package from Val, Auntie Cuckoo, here in our circle of friends. And one of the things that she sent me was the Pledge of Allegiance. I know, right? How fabulous is this? How fabulous is this? Now, you all know we have a lot of patriotic stuff around here at Lily Bug Lane, and as soon as I saw this, as soon as I saw this, I knew I had a plan in my mind. So, the plan in my mind was to frame this, to remove this rod, this plastic rod right here, and frame this because it's got a beautiful border around it and it is the full Pledge of Allegiance, which we do not have here on display at Lilybug Lane. So, what I did was I measured the um, piece and figured out the closest I could get without having to trim too, too much off of the sides or the bottom or the top because I absolutely love that it is the American flag in the background. Um, I believe Val told me that she picked this up at the 99 cent store. Um, so if you have a 99 cent store around you, you may want to check out, check it out and see if there's any of these left. But this is absolutely fabulous and it's a nice um, kind of like a lightweight nylon. I absolutely love it. Thank you, Val. <laughs> So anyway, so blah, blah, blah. So what I did was I kind of kept my eye out because I knew kind of sort of what I was um, wanting to, how I wanted it to look. So I found this frame at the Walmart and it is by Better Homes and Gardens. It is 11 by 14 and it is black and it does have some distressing on it, which you know is the finish that we like best here at Lily Bug Lane. So I thought what I would do, and it's a hanging frame, so it has the ha hardware here on the back. So I thought what I would do is I would go ahead and, let's see if I can do this without dropping anything. What I would do is I would go ahead and frame this in here. Now I am gonna have to trim it, I know that, but I'm going to try very, very hard to trim as little as possible off of this 
in order to make it fit in here and still have some of the border around it. So I think that'll look very, very nice. And I will share that with you once I get it framed before we hang it up on the wall. But I'm very, very excited about it. Very, very excited. And I think it'll look very, very nice because it'll fit into the primitive part of the decor and it'll also fit into the patriotic part of the decor. So there we go. Okay, so tonight there's they're starting to slowly mark things down at my Walmart. They're starting to slowly mark things down. This has not been marked down yet. I have been looking at it since they put them out at the very beginning of the year. Um, this was $9.97. It was not on clearance. They're just putting sporadic stuff on clearance a little bit at a time, and it's driving me absolutely bananas. But anyway, oh, if you're interested in any um, Pioneer Woman stuff, the, uh, the some of the serving pieces are on clearance, and some of the single dishes are on clearance. The cast iron Dutch oven is on clearance. The cast iron skillets are on clearance. So check your Walmart in the seasonal Pioneer Woman stuff not the new stuff that just came out the new new line but the seasonal stuff that just came out i think it's like a real pretty amethyst purple and a and like a teal blue and then it's like a khaki color the, there's three different solid colors anyway you know what i mean so go check it out because there's a lot of cute stuff and i've got my eye i've got my eye on something and it was marked down to $9. And if it's still there when I go back the next time to the Walmart, I'm going to pick it up. And hopefully it'll be marked down even more. But I'll share that with you if I am lucky enough to uh, pick it up. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You all know how much I love spending time with you, and I just love chatting it up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm chatting it up. Making up for lost time, right? Get on with it, Lala. I hear you. I hear you. So anyway, I've been looking at these. They did have some of these out for the 4th of July, and I had kind of eyed them then, and I thought, oh, no, I'm not really sure. But I looked at them tonight. Chewy said, Lala, Go ahead and get it, because if you don't, you're going to regret it. And I was afraid, once they marked these down, that they were going to be gone like that. So anyway, it's an outdoor blanket. Seriously, all that, all that hoopla, just to tell you that I got an outdoor blanket. Now, this is very, very nice, because it has the webbed handle right here, and it zips, it zips. So it zips all around here, and then it opens up. And then it is this print on the blanket. It's this print and this print. This is the bottom, this is the top. And it is water repellent backing. And it is um, by Mainstays, by Mainstays. And absolutely love it. And you can see here what it looks like. And it is five foot by six foot. And I'll tell you this, because I had Chewy open it up there so I could see how big it was. Because, you know, when he said five foot by six foot, I was like, yeah, oh, what? How much? How big is that? I know, right? I can't, I can't do that very well. So anyway, he opened it up. And can I tell you, it was one, two, three, four, four folds to get it back into this thing. And then it zips up all the way around. Super duper easy. It came in, um, I think, four or five different color combinations and patterns. And it's nine. $9.87, I believe, but I've been looking for, looking at this for so, so long, and, um, you know, Chewy just said, go ahead and get it, Lala, so I went ahead and got it, so I'm happy that I did, too, because I had a feeling that once they got marked down to, like, $5, that they would be gone just like that, so um, I'm very, very happy, and we'll just keep this in the back of Val, and if we are somewhere and we stop, or if we're traveling and we stop at a restaurant, stop or something. This can also be used as a tablecloth if we need to, or if we go to an outdoor concert of some kind or something like that, or to a park or 
up to the shore, we have an extra blanket. So I'm very, very, and this could also be used as a seat cushion on bleachers. This would be fabulous as a seat cushion on bleachers too. So keep that in mind if you are a sports person that goes to the stadiums and stuff. Keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to share a little bit of Dollar Tree with you all. Um, we went to the Dollar Tree. I went to the Dollar Tree Saturday on my way back from Ohio. I stopped at my Dollar Tree, which I like the best. And so these are the things that I picked up at my Dollar Tree on Saturday evening. So I need a couple of new dish towels. And I know that Val sent dish towels too, but those are special dish towels. Those aren't ones that, we can, that we're going to use on a daily basis. But I went ahead and picked up these red and white ones from the Dollar Tree. And these are 100% cotton. They're the woven ones. They're not the terry cloth ones, and they're not the microfiber ones. These are just the straight, like, um, cloth ones. And I really, really like these. So I went ahead and got um, two of them because um, I like to get them in twos or fours. So I went ahead and picked up two of them, and that'll be nice because I like to accent with red in the kitchen as it slowly comes along to French provincial or French country or French whatever you want to call it. I don't even remember what it's called. So I have a plan in my head. I'm going to do something for Louise's room. She's getting older now. She's 15 and she has a print in her room that I feel is a little bit too young for her. So I'm going to kind of revamp a little bit. So I've been collecting flowers and these are purple flowers. Um, and I'm trying to get flowers that are each color in the bed quilt that she has and I'm going to be making a flower like a flower wall kind of thing but it's not very big but anyway I'll share it with you so I went ahead and picked up these and these were in there these were part of the spring that was left over but I went ahead and picked those up anyway so I got two of those I think I'm going to need a whole bunch of flowers. I really do. I think I'm going to need a whole bunch of flowers. Because what I want to do is, well, I'll expl I'll do a video and I'll explain it to you before I do it. So then, they, they're starting to put out their fall stuff. There's a little bit of holiday stuff sprinkled in. Like some holiday ribbon and some holiday accents. But no no real Christmas yet, so don't don't panic about it. What I did notice was they, they put out two trays of the um, diamond wrap. You all know what I'm talking about. It's the blue, the gold, and the silver. I think it comes in pink also, the diamond wrap. Well, I went ahead and picked up three rolls, three spools of it. Now, this is six feet long, and it's one inch wide. Here's an idea that you can use to kind of stretch this a little bit. If you're doing some kind of embellishment or something, you can actually cut these off in strips. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So you could just do like maybe two and then have two wide and three wide, and that way you would stretch it. Do you, does that make sense? You'd have more than you actually did because um, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway. <laughs> It made sense in my mind before I said it. Jennifer, please say that you understood. If you cut this in half, you will have twice as much. It'll just be thinner. Does that make sense? So instead of having six feet at one inch wide, you would have 12 feet at a half inch wide. That should make a little bit more sense because it did in my mind. So there we go. So that's what I got also. So that is my... Um, latest Dollar Tree purchase. I do have another one, but there's a little few more things in there, so I will certainly share that with you. So that's it. I just wanted to share some of my goodies so I can start getting this stuff put away. There is one more goodie that I would like to share with you. So we are going to go outside because it was a gift from Chewy, something that I had been looking at, looking at, looking at, and it finally went on clearance, and he went ahead and got it for me and surprised me with it. Um, Saturday evening. So hold on just a minute and we will go outside and I will show you what I got. Okay, so we're outside now on the back patio and I wanted to show you, please excuse the um, 
chainsaw that you hear in the background. That's one of our neighbors doing something. But um, this is what Chewy gifted me with on Saturday evening. I had been, this is a wrought iron glider and it glides like this and it matches our patio uh, furniture. Now, this was $188 at Walmart. I had seen it at the beginning of the season, and I really, really liked it, but I wasn't willing to pay $188 for it. And um, so I kept my eye on it, kept my eye on it, kept my eye on it. And when Meredith had said that they had started to mark down her um, summer stuff at her Walmart, I got very, very excited, and I started stalking this thing like crazy, and I would go there every couple days, and I would call and ask them if they were doing any markdowns for the seasonal items, and they would say no, and I was like, okay, well, Saturday, when I went to Walmart, while Chewy and Louise were down at the amusement park, I walked in, and this was marked down from 188 to 130 38 so it was $50 off I texted Chewy and I said oh my gosh the glider has been marked down to 138 and he's like oh okay so <laughs> and I was like oh okay so I came home and Chewy and Louise came home and lo and behold they had the glider with them now it was 188 originally it was marked down to 138, but this was the display. And um, so Chewy asked assistant manager Ron if he could do a little better since it was the display. And assistant manager Ron took another $28 off, so it ended up being $110. So it went from 188 to 138. To 110 and I'm very very happy with it now this is made in the USA made in the USA and it is by Arlington House and very very happy with it and it just is so nice and it'll be so nice to have a glider out here um, you know when we're having the um, fire in the fire pit or just out here enjoying nature and everything so we're very very happy and I'm very very happy with it so we still have the other furniture too there is the bench the sitting bench, the settee that was here before. And I don't know if that's going to stay there or if we're going to move it someplace else. Um, someplace else. But we'll decide that later. But I just absolutely love this. I don't know how much you're able to see it because the sun. Let me move here in the shade. Um, the sun. But anyway, so that is one of our recent Walmart purchases also. So check your Walmart and see if they have any of their stuff, any of their cushions for outdoor furniture, their umbrellas, their outdoor rugs, anything like that, any kind of landscape lighting that you may want. Now would be the time to start really looking because they're marking things down, not only at Walmart, but all over, all over the place. And you all know that because you're super smart. So thanks so much for stopping by to watch this video. I hope you're all doing well this evening. I will see you again tomorrow for our Woman's World Tuesday. Remember, if you have any requests for thoughts and prayers, to please contact me through YouTube messaging or at lilybuglane at gmail.com. I'll be happy to include you in our weekly video. And remember, I'm um, planning a Q&A, so if you have any good um, questions for me, any good or interesting questions for me, um, I would be happy to write those down and answer them for you. So, I hope everybody has a good evening. Be happy, healthy, and safe. Good night.